What is going on, Colts Nation? Welcome back to another episode of Bring the Juice. Guys, we have been a little over a week into training camp. The Indianapolis Colts have currently had six practices, some padded, some not. And so I wanted to talk about, though, through these six practices, essentially through the first week of training camp, who have been some of the standout players for the Indianapolis Colts. And I have a number of them in mind I want to talk about so far. Obviously, we still have a long way to go in training camp. We're not even to the first preseason game yet. So we have a long way to go through the course of the training camp, through the course of the season. But as it stands right now, these are the players who have stood out so far for the Indianapolis Colts. And I think the first one we got to talk about is a very positive one for a lot of people, and that is quarterback Anthony Richardson. He's had some really, really good periods of 11 on 11 time. He's had some moments where he hasn't been as accurate, but on the whole, for 11 on 11 work, Anthony Richardson is a hair under 70% completion percentage. He's made some big plays down the field, and for the most part, he's taking care of the football pretty well. So Anthony Richardson looking very good. Hasn't been perfect by any stretch. Still got a long way to go in his development, but so far, so good for Anthony Richardson from what all indications are. AR has looked very good. He's spread the ball around to multiple guys, and it hasn't just been dink and dunk. There's been multiple times where he's pushed the ball you know, 20 yards plus down the field to multiple guys. So that's definitely a positive thing when it comes to Anthony Richardson and hoping he can continue that moving forward because that is obviously huge for your franchise if your franchise quarterback can continue to develop, can continue to get more accurate, continue to do those things that he needs to do. So Anthony Richardson is the first guy on the list that you got to talk about. The second guy on the list is one of his favorite targets this year, was one of his favorite targets last year, and they obviously came out of the same draft class. That, of course, is Josh Downs, the wide receiver, second-year wide receiver, the slot guy for the Indianapolis Colts. And, you know, we made a video on this yesterday but Josh Downs is just so, so important to Anthony Richardson in his development. And obviously, AR trusts him extremely well. I mean, you obviously have Michael Pittman Jr., who is going to be that one. He's going to get the targets. He's going to do all that. But guys, Josh Downs is right there with Michael Pittman. Just, a, I think, a catch or two behind him in total in 11 on 11 work so far. So Josh Downs is going to be a major part of this offense. And he's continuing to show out, continuing to do some really good things. And it's really been cool to see him and AR continue to build that chemistry, continue to grow together, and just continue on that relationship that they have. I mean, we know basically from when they got drafted, these two have basically been inseparable, right? They've been such close friends. They've been such close teammates. They've been doing things together. And so great to see here in year number two that already it's showing in training camp, whether the pads are on or off. Uh, that Anthony Richardson and, and Josh Downs definitely have a special connection. Very excited to see what this looks like when it comes to the regular season. But on the whole right now for training camp, Josh Downs has definitely been a guy that stood out so far. So that's definitely a really, really positive thing. Really looking forward to seeing what that looks like come 2024 regular season. So you got your quarterback, you got your wide receiver both those guys right now standing out on the offense, which is definitely a really, really positive thing so far, which is awesome to see. And, you know, I was tempted to put Adonai Mitchell on here, but, you know, he's had some nice one-on-one -on -one individual periods, had a couple nice days recently, but I decided against it. I decided, no, I think there's a couple other players that I want to highlight and I want to talk about when it comes to it. And I think the first guy you got to talk about is the Colts' first-round pick this year, Leatu Latu. He has been absolutely tearing it up, especially when the pads came on. It really seemed like Latu was just a guy that it was go time for him, right? I mean, you can't really fully judge when the pads are off fully, you know, on these offense and defensive linemen, but... When the pads have been on, Latu has been a guy that has routinely been in the backfield, whether it's against second team, first team, it doesn't matter. Leatu Latu's just been a dude back there, been a force, been a menace, and has continued to just make life difficult for opposing offenses. So Leatu Latu, definitely a guy that you got to talk about. And obviously you can't understate how important he is moving forward into 2024, especially with the loss of Samson Mabukam. I mean, there's no doubt 
that Latu is very, very critical for what the Colts are going to do this year. And we'll see what he does his rookie season. I mean, I think there's a good reason why people were projecting Latu to be one of the front runners for defensive rookie of the year, because I think he's got all the skills, all everything that he needs, obviously is the right mindset to be a guy that can be a consistent force for a long, long time for the Indianapolis Colts. And frankly, they haven't had a guy like Latu or the potential of Latu in probably a decade. You know, Robert Mathis is the guy that comes to mind for the guy who's probably has the most upside since, you know, Latu has the most upside since probably him. So, I'm really excited to see what he looks like year one, you know, because I don't think this is a, a situation where he's going to have to, you know, have a little bit of a, fr- you know, red shirt freshman season where maybe he's not as good or maybe he doesn't play as much. I think he's going to be an instant impact guy. And I'm really excited to see what Latu looks like hitting the ground running. We've already seen it in training camp, excited for the first preseason game. What does Latu look like? And then taking it over to the regular season. What does Latu look like? You know, what does it look like for the Colts defensive line, which, you know, definitely got a lot of sacks last year, but struggled when it came to the consistent pressure standpoint. Latu very good in the consistent pressure the last two seasons at UCLA and obviously the sacks and tackles for loss and stuff. They speak for themselves. So I'm really excited to see what it looks like there for Leatu, Latu and the Indianapolis Colts moving forward. So there's another guy I thought about mentioning. I guess I just will mention him here like I did with Adonai Mitchell because I think he's had some moments for sure. Jalen Carlisle, he's been injured as of recently, so we haven't seen him as much. But when he's been on the field, he's been making plays. So definitely bodes well for him as he's kind of competing in there for that third linebacker spot. I think primarily with Segun Alubi, who's made some plays as well. But I think those are the two guys primarily right now. I think they both will make the roster and have roles. But Jalen Carlisle has definitely made some plays as well. And the final main guy I want to talk about for the Indianapolis Colts has to be safety Julian Blackman. And this one is very, very awesome to see, especially because, you know, Julian Blackman on that one-year deal, the Indianapolis Colts want to see, can he stay healthy? And we know what he did last year, you know, in that transition from free to strong safety, how good he looked for the Indianapolis Colts. And so I'm really excited to see what Julian Blackman looks like in year number two, because he has been all over the field. He's been an absolute menace from what everybody has said. And I'm excited to see how it comes to full fruition. And obviously, if JB can stay on the field, that's a major, major thing for this safety room, which has a lot of youth and experience right now. And Blackman being really the veteran of that group and right now has been leading by example. So really excited to see Julian Blackman in there. But guys, that's really it for some of the standouts from week number one of training camp. And obviously, there's still a ways to go when it comes to, you know, training camp, regular season, preseason, all that stuff. So keep it here, guys. We're going to continue to bring you more fresh content. But just wanted to bring you my thoughts here on some players who have stood out as of recent. Those are the players who have been mentioned when it talks about the standouts. But let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. But guys, that'll do it for this one. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, be sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, turn on the notification bell. We are trying to get to 20,000 subscribers here through the course of the 2024 season. So if you guys would help us out, we would greatly appreciate that. But guys, that'll do it for now. Thanks so much. And as always, go Colts. Yeah.